Hi, I'm Sophia from Caribbean Golf Getaways, and today I have the pleasure of working with head teaching professional Jamie Steedman from Ladies Golf Club of Toronto. And today we're going to learn about the basics that you need to know if you're going to any kind of company or charity tournament. So stay watching. Jamie, I find that I have to go to charity or company golf tournaments on a regular basis, but I don't really play golf all that often. So do you have any like quick tips that I can look like so that I don't embarrass myself in front of my boss? This is a question I'm, oft, I'm often asked. Um, the golf course can be a very confusing and very uh, multifaceted uh, environment. There's a lot of things going on all at once and particularly on the morning or afternoon before a golf tournament, things are happening and, and we need to know sort of positions to be in and where to go and, and where to find out this information. So I would say it all starts when you're driving into the facility. Mm -hmm. So number one, always make sure that you have really clear and concise directions to the facility okay. you're playing at because the fastest way to feel really uncomfortable is by racing to the to the golf course and just pulling in at the nick of time and being sort of behind the eight ball in terms of the timing or the time management. So that would be number one. Number two is knowing when you get to the golf course, always look for the sign that says bag drop. Mm. That bag drop is incredibly important because there are individuals who are awaiting your arrival and particularly to golf tournaments, they're waiting for you to drop the golf bag off. You're not inconveniencing them in any way. They're there to do that and to help you out. Mm. From that position, it's important that you get assembled from your car to the registration table. That's your second point of contact at the golf course. Registration table is super important because not only do tournament officials need to know that you're there, but also that's your opportunity to get information about where your golf clubs will be where your golf cart will be when you come out of the refreshment area uh, following, uh, following the, uh, the uh, earlier part of the, the day. Making sure you know so that when you come out of that area, you can head straight to your golf cart with confidence and you aren't seeming to, to be confused or know where to go next. Okay, okay. And so when, so now, you know what? Uh, I'm sitting in front of the tee, I'm with my foursome. What do I do? <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, that can be a bit confusing at times as well. So always make sure you're, you're ready to play. So you're, you're on the tee, it's time to go. Uh, typically charity events and, and golf tournaments will have what we call a shotgun start. Okay, now that comes from back in the day, they would actually fire a shotgun off and that would signal that all golfers would start playing. So uh, in okay. that case, everyone in a shotgun start, they're all driving out to different holes. So the day of your tournament, you'll need to know what hole you're starting on because before the actual tournament starts, you'll have to drive out to the hole that you're starting on. Then the shotgun part. So this is where now with the, uh, the advent of, of, of horns that we can fire off from various points of the golf course, that'll be the signal that you're ready to go and everyone and all golfers will start at that point. Okay. So wait till you hear that sound before you tee off. That would be my, my best advice at that point. Okay. And so uh, I, uh, I'm wondering if there's anything, like is there any sort of like pre-warm-up that I should be doing to make sure that I'm, you know, kind of loose and, and ready to rock and roll? Absolutely. So a uh, couple of key points in terms of the, the things that happen before your round of golf, before you even get to the first tee, make sure you've gone to the restroom. This is important especially for female golfers because when we're out there there's no graceful way of meandering into the bushes to to, to relieve ourselves oh yeah Make that's sure totally embarrassing you go to the restroom uh, take every opportunity uh, I've learned that the hard way the last thing you want is, is having a full bladder impeding your golf swing um, secondly, make sure you've given yourself enough time to warm up. So just as you've alluded to, make sure you're warming your body up before you go out to play. Um, golf is a sport like others, you'll be using a lot of muscles and for that reason we need to make sure that they're well warmed up before you head out and make your first swing. Um, in addition, make sure that you've gone to the putting green. So usually I allot myself about 20 minutes before a round of golf in order to touch all of these elements and make sure that I'm fully prepared when I get out onto the golf course, I'm ready to make the first swing and I'm feeling comfortable and in, in my element. 
Okay, thank you so much for your tips. I really appreciate it, Jamie. If you liked our Golfing for Women series, please feel free to like this video or share it. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and you can also follow us on social media. So thank you so much for watching.